hey, hey, man, come on in. Let me show you what's going on. Thank y'all for tuning in. As promised, we are here with the first episode of I'm Glad You Asked. Today is special. Today is going to be so much fun. We are currently at Japanese swords, Swordsmanship of Gwinnett, right? Gwinnett. Gwinnett. We're going to be learning the art of Japanese Swordsmanship. Oh, we're, we're so excited. But joining us today, one of the premise for the show, we always promise we're going to bring a uh, local business owner with us. So today we have Miss Randy Dorsey. Randy, come on in. Randy Dorsey. Randy has a product. Uh, she's the owner of Our Michelle Catering, but she has a product called Effin Rolls. Yes, you heard that. Effin Rolls. Not, not what you're thinking. Effin Rolls. Could, Effin you, could Rose. you spell that, please? E F F dash N Rolls. Not the F mid, mid Rolls, okay? Yeah. Okay. Right. But, <laughs> Hand me an F and roll, right? Right. <laughs> so we're going to have some of those later, but we're also going to show her contact info so you can have some F and rolls too. Right. All right. So now. Not the F. <laughs> the E F F. Yeah. F and rolls. That's just fun to say. Yeah. F and roll. Would you like an F and roll? Would you like it? <laughs> All right. So we're going to tell you how to get some F and rolls. We're going to have some fun. Can't wait. Too many up. Kiyoshi Jones. Sensei Wayne Ortman, who is one of my assistant instructors and also personal friend. Sensei David Price, who, Natsuko Campbell, who's been with us for one year and a half. One year and a half. Okay. okay, so this is your basic training weapon. And you, a little bit on the outside. Good. And here you go. Okay. So it's to bring the sword in our right hand. We put our left hand behind the sword on the, on the below your wrist. We lay it out flat. And in a show of respect to the sword, with the sword at eye level, we bow. That's called tode or sword bow, which gives our first proper respect for the sword. Then we symbolically move the tip of the sword with the curve up to our belt line. And we won't put it inside our belt, we'll just keep it on the side of our belt and symbolically place the sword in our belt. We had a real sword, the scabbard goes in the belt, the sword goes in the scabbard. But in this case, since we're practicing with a wooden sword or a bokuto, we do it symbolically. This builds good habits so that when you use a real sword, um, you don't hey. do something that's dangerous. Hey. That's correct. All right. Okay, so, <laughs> then from here, um, so before a class or during a class, we are going to do what we call a zade, when we are in seiza, and what we end up doing is putting our sword down on the ground, sitting in this position, you guys can join me, put that sword down on the ground. All right. We sit with feet behind us, hands on our side. Then we take our fingers and touch them to the mat by just running down our legs here. We make a small triangle outstretched to where we think our forehead is going to hit the ground. With our head and neck up without looking upward, we bow. And then we're up. Right. And then when you bow that way, right, you want to be flat. Myself. You don't want to expose your neck. You want to be flat and you rake. Then the hands come back to the knees again and come back up to the side. We'll take our sword in our left hand. And we'll bring our right leg up like this and so stand. I just had it will be up. How we start class. You didn't block and class. You said the significance of that is. When we're all on the ground, tight in but when I tell you, um, <laughs> Japanese culture is a thing. So if you're standing in front of a senior, the senior will have an elevated position. If I bow to you and you're my senior, I bow lower. Um, if you're sitting on a floor, everybody bowing at the lowest possible level is a sign of high respect. Your senior instructor is bowing almost as low as you are and everybody's low to the ground. So that's a sign of ultimate cooperation that everyone needs you to learn. So doing that at the beginning of the class really is a sign of high cooperation.
シャムリーレイ先生にレイよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いします is the Japanese formal greeting it's a, a, a typically formal introductory greeting but we say that at the beginning of class again as a sign of respect that we plan to cooperate with one another and train together All right, then up. Katana ni! Hey! Taito. Okay, and that's how we start class. So this is a very on, traditional Japanese sword stance that's shared with just about every art you'll ever see. So from here, we're going to do what we call Chiburi and Noto. This, we bring the sword down, and we move the sword to a down position. This is meant to prepare the sword to be put away. Then from here, I make a circle. I place the sword one third of the way up with the blade up as I put it on top of my hand. Draw it forward, turn it in, and slide the sword down. Take my thumb over the top, cap and step up, and my hand comes down. That's the, the safe way to both draw the sword, prepare the sword to be put away, and then put the sword away. You do that, you're going to do that safely. I clearly went for his wrist and he had to tuck his hand back. Okay. Trying to face this direction? Yeah. Oh. All right, let's give it a try. Feet hey. together, heels, 45. Hey. Bend the knee a little yeah. bit, grab the sword. You're going to put your thumb under, your fingers are going to go up like yeah. that. Yes. Oh, good. And then you're going to step forward, turn that sword forward, and grab. Good. Grab with the other hand, that's right, good. Your right hand is in front, your left hand is on the bottom. They're not as engaging. Yeah, good. And then there's a space between your hands. Thumbs are wrapped around. Thumbs are, yes, good. Best case, yeah. your left hand is somewhere near the bottom of the sword. Your right hand is spaced a bit. Uh, ma'am, you can, that's, that's a fine grip, you don't have too many. Oh, actually, let's slide this down more so that you're below that notch a little more. Good. And then wrap that good. Wrap that thumb around. Everybody bend those knees. This is where you're going to get part of your workout for today. Under. The one thing I don't want to see is a straight knee. I'm under. Now we're going to lower this so it's at your chin level. Good. Good. Excellent. There is no. All right. Now, let's put the sword away like I showed you. Left hand comes to your belt. You bring the sword down. Good. Down, just down, like that. And you make this a little circle just like you did. Now, side take the back. sword, back Move side, not sharp side. Move Put that on top of your hand with your hand in a circle. Excellent. And Excellent. Open. So you uh, then try that again. Bring your other hand up more. Yes. Now bring it so it's across your body and lays right on top of your hand here. Right? So that's it. Perfect. And then forward. You're pulling back until the sword tip hits that and then rotate the sword up a little bit slide it forward thumb over the top let me give you a sideways demonstration so you can see just the chew on come to this position I'm gonna bring the sword up above my head I'm gonna slide forward and swing the sword down to get on level and then I'm going to slide back and bring it to chew on level that is your basic sword action the sword so that's comes on, up. That middle part is I more the time. Swing effect, and push um, down, and I cut, and then I return. I believe is the more. What we call Ichi no Shin Choku Giri. One cut, straight cut, right down the middle. Up. Cut. Hey! We also employ Kiai, which is the vocal exhalation, so that you make a noise and channel your spirit into the No, no, no. It's just quick. It's neat. Hey! Ichi no Chukondachi. よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えいっ。えい
As promised, class is over. We get to taste the wonderful effing rolls. Effing rolls. Yeah, effing rolls. You can't say it. So, Rain, tell us about that. So, um, in 2017, I um, I love to eat. First of all, um, I started a catering company about 15 years ago. And um, in 2017, we were just throwing ideas around um, over the table at Christmas. Right. And I said, um, you know what? I'm going to put everything in an egg roll. Why not? And um, so we went back and forth about what the name should be. And um, I'm always <laughs> living life on the edge. Right, right. <laughs> and I said, right. you know what? F and rolls. So here we are with um, today we've got F and rolls to go. And uh, these are two of our signatures. We've got the Philly cheesesteak egg roll. Whoa. And um, that goes with a special oh, sweet God. chili mixture that I make. Uh, right. That's the sauce. And then we've also got an apple pie egg roll. And then I like to call it a la mode because I make a homemade cream sauce that goes with that uh, roll as well. So uh, dig in and I hope you guys enjoy. Yes. 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 Wow. The F and roll. <laughs> Not the F. Not the F, F, but the roll. You're going to be able to taste it <laughs> So. And what's the other one? Apple pie? Apple, apple pie. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are clean. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Philly. Oh, my goodness. 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 And you can do this with chicken though, right? Yes, ma'am. We have a chicken pot pie. We make got, sure I um, get your card before I do it here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Y'all make sure. Oh, you have a Philly cheese. Philly mm. cheese. This oh. is good. Oh. Philly cheese. You want to cut, you wanna cut it? I've got more in the bag, so please Great. help yourself. Give me a Philly cheese. Yeah, I'm going to be that. You see that? This is good. That right there? Oh, my God. This is the Philly right here. Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm telling you. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Tell the name of the show. I'm glad you had. I'm gonna tell you why I'm Which one's that? Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Everybody. Um, you can reach me at um, Instagram. Um, I'm, we're at F and Rolls. At um, it's at F and Rolls at E F F N R O L L Z. Inbox me. Thank you um, for having me on. I'm glad you asked. Me, and I hope to see y'all soon. I'm glad you came. And this is chili sauce. Yes. Sweet chili. Sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Did you get mm -hmm. me? Yeah. That's so good. He's vegetarian. Tell him your opinion of it, man. What you